Welcome to Daily Prayer with Holy Name of Mary Catholic Chapel on Friday in the fifth week of Lent. Together, let us journey to the cross in order that we might receive forgiveness and behold love who has been crucified for each of us. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our morning hymn. Cross of Jesus, cross of sorrow, where the blood of Christ was shed, perfect man on thee did suffer, perfect God on thee has bled. Here the King of all the ages, throned in light ere worlds could be, robed in mortal flesh is dying, crucified by sin for me. O mysterious condescending, O abandonment sublime, very God himself is bearing all the sufferings of time. Cross of Jesus, cross of sorrow, where the blood of Christ was shed, perfect man on thee did suffer, perfect God on thee has bled. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Psalm 51 O oh God, have mercy on me. Together, friends, let us confess our sins and receive God's forgiveness as we hear this penitential psalm of King David. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, in the midst of sin was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offerings from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled and contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, 
so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all people and all nations. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. A canticle from the book of Isaiah. People of all nations will become disciples of our Lord Jesus. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth, and I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in counsel together. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord, are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence singing for joy. Let us go into God's presence singing for joy. Psalm 100, the joyful song of those entering God's temple. Each time that we enter a church or even log in online, may we feel the joy of God in our hearts and may we recognize that we are in God's presence and one day we will enter the heavenly temple with all the saints and angels. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his holy name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
With joy and gladness, we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth to all. Amen. Let us go into God's presence singing for joy. A reading from the book of Isaiah. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of a man, and his appearance beyond that of mortals. So shall he startle many nations. Because of him, kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see, those who have not heard shall ponder it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As our Lord and Savior hung upon the cross, truly his appearance, his countenance, was marred beyond the look of man. He endured so much, so much suffering, and yet he willingly stayed on that cross, the very wood which he had created at the beginning of time. And for this reason, we should stand speechless. We should be in awe that Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, would allow himself to be crucified in order that we might understand love. For this reason, we should tell of the love of Jesus to all people in order that they may ponder it in their hearts and minds and come to the saving knowledge that God has given to us. Amen. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. The Lord said, I have done you many acts of kindness. For which of them do you want to kill me? The Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord said, I have done you many acts of kindness. For which of them do you want to kill me? 
Thanks be to Christ our Lord, who brought us life by his death on the cross. With our whole heart, let us cry out to him, asking, By your death, raise us to life. By your death, raise us to life. Teacher and Savior, you have shown us your fidelity and made us a new creation by your holy passion. Therefore, keep us from falling again into sin and hatred. By your death, raise us to life. Help us to deny ourselves today and not to deny those who are in need. By your death, raise us to life. May we receive this day of penance as your gift and give it back to you through works of mercy and good deeds. By your death, raise us to life. Master our rebellious hearts and teach us to be generous to one another. By your death, raise us to life. Bring peace to the people of Ukraine and bring an end to all wars and hostility around the world. By your death, raise us to life. My friends, I invite you as you stand at the foot of the cross to offer up your needs, your requests, your heart's burdens to Jesus for he is listening to you and ready to send mercy to you. By your death, raise us to life as you answer the cries of our hearts. With confidence, dear friends, let us call upon God our Father, as Jesus our brother told us to do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, grant us your forgiveness, and set us free from our enslavement to sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Have a very holy and sacred Friday, my dear friends. Our Lenten journey is nearly over. On Sunday morning, we will celebrate the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, and then we will begin our journey with him to the horrors of the cross and then the glories of the resurrection. I invite all of you to join us right here in Mary's Chapel today at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for our commemoration of the Stations of the Cross. Then join us Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the Holy Palm Sunday Mass. And then please be sure to find our schedule online at facebook.com forward slash Holy Name Mary for the entirety of our Holy Week services. We will be offering a service each and every day of Holy Week so that we can all truly make this journey together. So set aside time, prepare your hearts through fasting, almsgiving, and prayer, for the holiest days of the year are almost here. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Let us lift up our voices to Our Lady of Sorrows, who stood at the foot of the cross and whose own heart was pierced. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Our Lady of Sorrows, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge others. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen.